Hello Mulis, uh, let us start with the initial uh, phase of uh, RPA lifecycle that is process evaluation. So if you are new to MuleSoft RPA, please note that it is not free just like what we have for AnyPoint platform. So you need a license to log into RPA manager. So if at all you want to try something new, if you are a mentor or if you want to speak in any MuleSoft meetups, you can always reach out to MuleSoft community managers. They can help you by providing a MuleSoft RPA account. But uh, by default, it is not free just like how we used to have for any point platform so now i have a, a mulesoft rpa account with mulesoft so i have this uh, url to log in so once we sign in you can see the screen looks something like this just like how we have like any point platform with all the features of design center uh, api manager runtime manager etc here we have we have different life cycle phases here so uh, we have like process, evaluation, automation, deployment, testing, etc. I will come through, you know, I will be coming into those sessions uh, in the future sessions. But in this particular session, I will be showing you how to create a process. So the, to create a process, you can go to process evaluation and click on process evaluation tab over here. Right now, I don't have any process. So I am going to create one process now give any name that you want for example patient form entry okay by default you can use whatever uh, template you want for now i have only one template so i will click on okay once you have created this process evaluation it will go to the next step for asking these details so again coming to the uh, reason why we want to use rpa isn't it we just don't want to use the license just like that unless and until there is a specific use case which will help you to save your time and money then only we will go with uh, you know using rpa now how to do that so mulesoft rpa brings up a kind of you know a form to fill for example that you can see on the screen now for example for my use case just imagine that uh, uh, there is a use case where when a patient enter into hospital he is asked to fill the PDF form sorry he is asked to fill some forms which has like four to five pages about all his uh, health details his uh, contact details etc so once those details are filled next the receptionist what they do is like they try to enter all the fields that were entered by the patient so to enter these fields into their database it takes around approximately 15 to 30 minutes so this is a real time example that i have seen personally so it not only a way it's it doesn't it's not only like kills the time but even like if it is an emergency here the process is different right they have to first enter the details then only you know they have the doctor assigned and those steps will be uh, continued so in this case to save that time you know patient will lose patience and probably due to this process he might not visit the hospital again right so what if this particular process you know a process is automated like whatever the receptionist is typing from the details filled by the patient like this process can be automated how can it be automated you can just scan the pdf forms and automatically it will extract the data and load it into the database this will not only save the time of the patient and the receptionist but also like you know it like the patient will try to visit the same hospital again because the process is fast now assuming that it takes only 30 minutes so i am going to enter 30 uh, 30 minutes here and assume that the reception is getting paid uh, $20 per hour uh, so now that it takes 30 minutes for us like let's say like cost transfer you know cost per process run would be like $10 because it is taking 30 minutes now frequency per month assume that again like sh the receptionist is like uh, filling out like 10 patients at least one receptionist is filling out 10 patients per day it would be like 20 days 22 days now assume for this purpose like per month you have 20 working days and 20 into 10 it's like 200 right so 200 patients so frequency per month is 200 then 
this is called process matrix so this process matrix helps us to identify and decide whether or not we have to go with rpa so if the bar if the graph is showing somewhere here in the red area that means that uh, um, your process is not qualified to automate that process when it is shows green that means that you are you are whatever the process you want to automate it needs immediate attention to create a automation project to uh, help you uh, complete the process whatever you wanted to do so there are some parameters that you can decide so maybe the business stakeholders can decide like what type of nature of work whether it is judgment based or rule based for example if it is like rule based you can try to you know see whenever I am trying to so there are qualifiers and benefits to areas that will help this person matrix to move this uh, from green to red or red to green so stability like yes it should be stable and data type you can like use whatever it is and you these details should be you know filled by the stakeholders or the business who are running so risk so by changing these parameters you can see the bar graph shows that you know now as my particular process you know qualifies these parameters and you know the benefits that i get from this process it is going into this green area so that like now my business is agreeing to automate this process if at all these quantifiers or you know these parameters are not matching and it is going into the red area that means that it is not necessary for you to create a rpa process okay so once you can click on save you can see the it will be in evaluation phase now so your process name is here it is created and now there is an option to approve it if you are a manager you can approve directly now in this account i am the manager i am the admin so i can directly click on this icon like the cloud symbol here or if you want to edit it you can edit it you can want to rename it you can rename it here for now i am going to approve once I click here, it will ask to select the program manager. Right now, I am the program manager, but in real time projects, you have your managers to get it approved. So once I click on OK, you can see the status will be shown as approved. All right. So this is how it looks. So where do we see this, you know, process that are created? If you go to my RPA, you can click on my processes there is nothing over here if you go to my backlog yes it is there why it is not present in my processor but it is present in my backlog because once it is approved then the developer can start doing the automation here i am the developer and i am the manager i have all roles assigned to uh, my rpa account so i have this uh, option to start automation or there is an option to reject at this area you know at this phase itself so there is possibility of both starting an automation even though if it is approved previously you always have a reason to reject it so let me click on start automation and a screen pops up here like it is asking to create the process now okay and uh, there are some details but there is a warning over here there are currently no categories available creation of process is not possible and at least one category has been created so you need to create a category i believe that it would be somewhere here give me a second evaluation criteria evaluation templates if you go to here in the documentation it's asked like you get it it is present in the process management so go to process management over here so give me a second do we have process management so go to process evaluation so yeah here it is so process management is under process automation so click on process management here now you can see that you have an option to create a category 
if i click on create a category for now what i can do is i can i can use any name so it's kind of a category categories can be like automating something like auto converting pdf files or reading a pdf files you any category you can create it so once you click on okay now it will show something like here and this category it's like you know we are segregating just like how we have experience system and process area but apis in mulesoft here also we can create separate separate categories like for health you can create one category for finance you can create another category and it will show how many processor are present in total and how many are in development and how many are in production this is just like to segregate or to divide this process based upon your activity now coming back to our backlog so we can now start clicking on start automation so process name remains same if you want to change you can change it and um, now you want to give all the rights to your user who wants to develop or start the automation so i can also give like advanced permissions like to release bit i i will try to give all permissions that are possible so i will create an automation so everything i have checked in now i am going to click on save so okay i need to select category and this category is what it requires again you can create multiple categories now i have only one category i am choosing that and click on save so it says like process successfully created once you click on that you can see now if you go to process management you have your process created and it is saying like it's just like a jira board where you can like drag and drop out to to do in progress and completed just like how we mark this user stories right so it is something like that so now go back to the process and uh, yep this is your first phase after your process evaluation then we start with design then we build it then we test it then we move it to production so this is where you can start uh, the design phase but this video is more about how to complete this process phase so this is the process that you have to follow for the initial phase of building a rpa bot or you know building a process so hope you like this session so we will see the design phase in our next session